Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 19th, 2022. Well, yesterday, those bulls, they just fought really hard, kept the market holding up there. But this morning, we have a little bit of bearishness showing up in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Hey, I want to apologize about yesterday. Um, for some reason, YouTube was just acting up, and I was not able to get that video uploaded yesterday. I do apologize for that, for that inconvenience, um, and um, I, I can't promise anything today will be any better, but I'm going to give it a shot. So let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we want to approach the market for today. First off, as you can see, we got a little bit of bearishness coming in here this morning. What happened um, is Germany put out some pretty ugly data um, showing, um, well, their highest producer price number on record and the UK came out with an inflationary rate of 10.1% running into some major issues over there in Europe and that's bringing out the bears here a little bit. If you check China last night, China was also very, very flat and mixed um, as they closed up Friday. So a little bit of concern out there for the global economy maybe creeping in here just a little bit. Now, let's take a look at these charts. What does this mean for today? Well, we know we've been pretty extended in the short term. As a matter of fact, um, uh, indicators show that we're extremely extended. And if you take a look um, in this little upside trend, we may be pushing down here to test that area of support. Now, nothing is bad here at all at this point. Um, don't run for the door screaming that the world's coming to an end. We don't know anything yet um, unless we get a test of some of these support levels of trend and um, lower support levels. If those were to start to break, that's where it could get a little bit dicey and we could really see those bears um, start to show their teeth a little bit. So watch that closely um, here in the chart. Now this really shouldn't be that big of a surprise. I've been um, kind of showing you guys over here on that weekly that we were running into that resistance problem here at the 50 day moving average. Now keep in mind, I don't expect those bulls to give up easily. They're gonna fight back. So don't expect this to just drop. As a matter of fact, I think there, we could end up seeing more of a multi-week um, consolidation or press against this level here in the chart, unless some of those world economic data points continue to worsen. Um, that's a fairly typical thing that we just kind of rest there for a little bit before we make that decision, are we going up or down? So watch that carefully. Now, let's take a look at our SPY, SPY, also in a very similar situation, but maybe just an ever so slightly little bit bearish um, uh, move in there because we weren't able to, like we did in the Dow, kind of push all the way back up here. Um, we failed right there at that price resistance level in the chart just a little, and now we're breaking those support levels um, of that um, intraday chart. So we'll want to watch this trend pretty closely. And if we pull back and break this trend, that's where we could really see the bears maybe engage a little bit more, but I don't think it gets bad unless we break down through some of these support levels. And that's a ways off. Um, now, remember, we also were testing this um, uh, weekly, whoops, let's go back over here, this weekly 50 day. And we're kind of putting in, um, you know, that shooting star pattern here, here on that weekly. Um, so we'll want to watch that. And again, expect those bulls to be pretty tenacious. They're going to fight back. Don't expect them to just give up easily. Now, I will say if some of these trends or support levels start to break, we could see a little bit more aggressiveness in the profit taking. Folks might be saying, you know, this, I enjoyed a heck of a rally here. Let me take some money and get the heck out of the way. So watch carefully for that because we are pretty extended and that means we could pull back pretty hard if um, if that pullback does begin. 
And then if we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ was even just a little bit more on the bearish side here. And I think one of the problems that we're dealing with here in the NASDAQ is our bond yields. Our bond yields continue to show, um, well, a major inversion and a big problem um, for uh, for the NASDAQ because um, big tech stocks typically utilize bonds pretty heavily in their financing for all of their research and development and things like that. And as we're, we're seeing right now, um, bonds continue, bond yields continue to um, uh, go up, creating some issues here. The last time our bonds were this high, um, NASDAQ was down here. So we we'll want to watch that carefully um, here in the chart. So this little put, bit of pullback, no problem here, really, unless we start breaking down this trend. If we break below this trend right here, that's where we could see a little bit of problem. Notice we have a little bit of price support right in there as well that could hold us. So watch that closely and carefully. And again, don't expect the bulls to give up easily. They're going to fight pretty hard here to hold on to this. They've enjoyed a heck of a rally and they really want to hold on to it. If we take a look at IWM, our Russell here also pulling back. It had a pretty good day yesterday, pushing um, uh, you know back up strongly, but just didn't quite wasn't able to peak out there um, and um, make some new highs. But as you can see, we may be running into that challenge break right here on that trend. So watch these support levels in the chart. Now that would be a pretty hard fall. Um, but from this extension, we've extended so hard if profit takers really start to come in hard, that possibility does exist that we could have a pretty ugly extension in, in a sell-off if that were to um, were to begin. So watch that closely. Right now, the bears are just milling around. I don't, I don't think they're really showing their teeth just yet, but certainly we've had the capacity to ignore economic data here and just breeze right, right by it in this effort to push things higher. And well, that may come back to bite us just a little bit if, um, if those sellers perk up and if those bears really do start to show their teeth. So watch watch carefully for that possibility. And then if we take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX yesterday finished, you know, right down here. Um, um, where I continue to say, I think we're showing some complacency in the market because once again, we just ignored bad housing data yesterday. We ignored, um, um, jobs data and factory data that actually encourages the Fed to be more aggressive um, in their rate increases. And um, well, a little complacency maybe coming into the market. It's that complacency that can really bring in a painful pullback um, in the market. So let's watch that closely. Hopefully you haven't been surprised by this. I've been talking about this for quite a while that we should be watching for that possibility of that pullback. Now, um, I don't think this gets serious at all unless we were to break back above that 25 handle area and hold it. We stay down in this area, no harm, no foul. That's just a little pullback in the market. And that certainly could be the case. So watch carefully there. And if we take a look at our T2122, well, T2122 um, kind of gave me a little bit of concern yesterday as we pushed right back up here into the overbought condition of the market. So my my concern more than anything is, is I suspect there's going to be a lot of folks hurt um, on this gap down this morning. And if it pushes um, further, if those bears really do um, show their teeth and start pushing to the downside, bringing in those profit takers, those folks that got in last are going to be hurt pretty badly. So watch that close. Now, if we find bullish inspiration, notice that we still, we could have a little bit of upside. You notice we've been kind of sticking right in that area right there. But if those bears um, continue to find the inspiration that they're showing this morning, remember we have a pretty big hole down here that has opened up where we could move sharply lower um, and we could do it pretty quickly, unfortunately, when, when an extension like this snaps, sometimes they can move very quickly. Now, if we take a look, whoops, if 
fell for crying out loud. Um, <laughs> sorry, guys. If you ever wondered if this was recorded live, now you know for sure it is. Now, if we take a look at our T2107. Now, T2107 had a little bit of uh, bounce back up yesterday after the, the pullback we experienced the day before. And what's going to be important here, we've broken that trend. So now what we need to see proof of is that now that we've broken that trend, can we hold it as support? So watch across here. If we do rest or pull back, and it looks like we're getting that, that selling today, or at least this morning, um, watch that area in here. If that holds as support or if this downtrend uh, break holds as support, we're probably in pretty good shape. Um, and we could bounce right off of that. If we were to break back down below those, that could really um, raise some eyebrows and really get those bears acting aggressively. If we take a look at T2108, oops. T2108 continues to show us kind of an overextension here, as you can see. There's only been three other times that we have pushed, you know, in the last few years that we have pushed um, 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 T2108 this high. And you can see um, that we got a little bit of a pullback on that move. But yesterday, they tried to bounce that right back up a bit. What's going to be important here is just like in T2107, we broke that downtrend. Now we need to kind of prove some of these areas of support. Can we hold or can we hold in here? That's where we're going to um, come into that challenge. Will those 40-day moving average levels hold as support? Or will we slip right back below them if those bears really engage? So watch carefully for um, that possibility. And then if we take a look at our T2101, again, T2101 turned a little bit lower here um, again yes, um, yesterday and just showing, well, maybe a little bit of shift in that momentum. But I got to tell you, I'm just not sure we're getting all that great of data here in um, T2101 because look at the volume yesterday. It was horrible. Um, uh, SPY was low. QQQ was low. Um, so we continue to show lower than um, what we would like to see in volume um, in the market. Um, so again, the pullback may not be all that well supported. So um, if, if those bulls fight hard, they certainly have that opportunity to bounce this right back up this morning. So just uh, stay on your toes. We could experience a little bit more volatility as this bull bear battle begins to happen at these price resistance levels. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, well, we've got a boring one. Um, really nothing to speak of. We got a Fed speaker that popped in here um, to talk and we've got uh, you know some some economic reports but really nothing that's probably going to move the market uh, today. So kind of um, one of those boring days where we may be struggling for a little bit of inspiration. And on the earnings calendar it's very much the same. We've only got a few earnings. Um, there's there's a dozen to 15 or something companies that are confirmed to report today. But the majority of those are very, very small cap and won't move the market at all. But I have pulled out four companies that you might want to pay attention to, um, um, to that will be reporting today. We've got uh, BKE. Um, BKE will be reporting today. It looks like they're moving higher on their report this morning, trying to pop through some resistance. Um, John Deere, um, unfortunately, John Deere looking like it's going the other way. That might have helped us out this morning in the Dow had that been a little bit better. But what we have seen here lately is we can get a terrible report um, from a company and it doesn't mean anything to the buyers. They just rush right back in and buy it right after the pullback. So watch that carefully here on John Deere. You can't rule out that possibility. Uh, Foot Locker, Foot Locker reporting this morning and a big upside pop here on Foot Locker. In fact, gapping up through this gap down. So uh, looks like we could open all the way up here. Foot Locker looking strong this morning. And last but not least on the list, VIPS, um, somewhat notable maybe. Um, in the market, not not hugely notable, but you want to watch this. Another retail um, stock showing a little bit of problem here 
um, this morning. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. It's that engagement that makes a huge difference. So thank you so much for those who take the time to do that i truly appreciate it then let's take a look um, at some of these stocks that could be setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you're going to have to do your own due diligence never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas and then make sure on every trade i uh, trade that you might take from a video like this or a trade idea you might take from this video that you understand the risk of every trade that you that they fit your trading plan. Let's take a look at some of these trades and some of these stocks. And there's a few things out here that have been kind of surprising. First off, um, let's take a look at the US dollar again. US dollar is surging to the upside. I mean, really strong. And this is creating some issues for other countries out there with that strong dollar. Remember, we're a dollar-based economy, worldwide economy. Um, we are the reserve currency. So what that means is all the other countries to pay debts, to buy oil, to buy commodities of any kind, they have to buy the US dollar. And that's becoming a major problem for them here in that chart. But what's interesting, what's really interesting is with the dollar moving up, we're also seeing energy stocks show tremendous strength. Now it looks like we might get a little bit of pullback on that today. Typically you would see with the strength of a, of a dollar, the commodity prices would come down, but they're holding up stubbornly high. And we're gonna wanna watch that pretty carefully because what this may be is a bigger worldwide supply problem starting to show itself. So watch carefully in here um, in that chart. If we hold some of these support levels, energy stocks might be some place to start looking in the trade. It's kind of a conservative position to be taking. And, and I think maybe some of the there may be a little bit of weariness in the whole green energy idea because we're seeing some of these uh, massive energy shortages shortages starting to show up in places even even um, Europe is now uh, talking about revitalizing a um, a nuclear plant and revitalizing coal plants to keep the heat on this winter so watch that carefully now with that in mind you may also want to keep an eye on some of the alternative type energies out there um, I've been watching plug you guys know I've mentioned this a few times plug power now I do think this is overly extended in the short term but notice we're getting a nice little resting consolidation in here um, as we challenge uh, some of these support levels to see if they hold, watch for that next opportunity to see if they can perk up. Now, Plug Power is a, uh, is a company focused on hydrogen, and they've made some big sales here recently supplying uh, Walmart with equipment to run hydrogen-powered forklifts and all the hydrogen to do that. So keep an eye on that. We might start seeing some of these alternatives pick up other places you know look, looking at some of the solars with the with the bills being passed in congress you can see um, these have been performing quite well watch for that next opportunity to see if they can move on higher in some of those other places you might want to look i gotta tell you um been really um amazed at the strength at some of these defensive sector stocks here recently. And um, as you can see here, PepsiCo breaking through resistance. These are all time highs here in PepsiCo. And we're seeing a lot of this activity in these uh, dividend paying stocks really picking up and holding on to strength. <coughs> Now remember, the United Nations and even our USDA have talked about uh, food shortages potentially on the way that could affect uh, the globe. And um, 
maybe there may be that move into some of these defensive sector areas to hold some some of these um, uh, dividend paying stocks take a look at um, Hormel Hormel has been holding in there moving up nicely here as you can see showing lots of strength um, to the upside it is selective though because if you look at Tyson Tyson it's struggling here a little bit of a higher low maybe coming in but it's been struggling but if we take a look at again some more of those defensive sectors take a look at um, Colgate Palmolive who'd have thought Colgate Palmolive really strong pushing up here good defensive sector stock um, looking um, at um, 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 Clorox Clorox could be setting up here another defensive sector consumer staples um, type stock um, with good dividend yields so you might want to keep an eye on those places you might want to be looking for if the market does start pulling back um, we might start looking at some of the techs in here that may be struggling with some price resistance you can see this is a pretty substantial level of price resistance in in that chart struggling with that if the market starts to turn if we start to see these bond yields really start to affect some of the techs watch carefully for that potential pullback and we saw some pretty sharp pullbacks um, right at the end of the day um, yesterday if we take a look at um, Microsoft and we look at um, an intraday chart look how strongly that pulled back right at the end of the day and now we're selling off here um, Apple however held up pretty well but it did have that pullback on that intraday so a little bit of 15 minute <coughs> pullback in there so watch some of those techs carefully because there is that possibility that we may have overextended these to the upside and they may actually become a short-term down move in some of them so with that everyone hey i'm running out of time i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading and also i want to wish you and your family a wonderful wonderful weekend y'all take care be safe and we'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning i wish you all the best